Wait, is Ogre Pond actually a peach? Cause like the tail of Momotaro, like Momotaro means peach and it's got a little like stalk poking out of its head and peaches are orange. I think Ogre Pond is a peach. Welcome back to the Teal Mask DLC. Last episode, we put the Loyal Three back in the dirt where they belong and got a strange request from Kieran to bring Ogre Pond back to the village. Ish, you really don't want to be here, do ya? Don't worry, it'll be fine. I don't trust him at all. What's this all about? I know you must be scared, Ogre Pond, but I did my best. So, just trust me and come with me, okay? No one that can be trusted would so often say to trust them. Look, our character's pissed. He knows. <laughs> Karen is being sus. Now, before we head into the village, if you guys haven't seen this cutscene yet, let me know in the comments how you think the story is going to end. And don't forget to hit that like button while you're down there. Uh-oh. Villagers look kind of pissed too. So, that's the ogre. It's actually real? Oh, it's so shy. Don't worry. I'm not going to say to trust Kieran, but I'll protect you. So this is the ogre of Oni Mountain. This is the true face of Ogre Pond, whom we've so sorely wronged. For far too long, we've told tales casting you as the villain here. Wait, they actually know? We all owe you a great apology. Oh, the plot twist. Oh, I love it. We get the happy ending. Hey, what's going on? Why the sudden about face? Karen's been running around the whole village telling everyone the true story of what happened. I was worried he'd stir up a lot of resentment, so I told him to stop, but... We're so sorry, dear ogre. Ogre Pond's so cute. Seems that I was wrong to worry so much. Who knew that Kiki had it in him? Especially since he usually hates talking to people. Aww. From now on, you can come to the village whenever you want. And you don't need to hide your face when you do. <laughs> the little face. The fangs. The three masks we kept at Kitakami Hall rightfully belong to you all, all along. If you've managed to get them back from those three villains, please feel free to keep them. We got the mask back and we managed to clear Ogre Pond's name. Now that's what I call a happy ending. Okay, see, now that she said it, I don't trust it anymore. One last thing to do. Let's escort Ogre Pond back to its home. Hold up. Why'd he make that face though? Hmm, well that's kind of worrying. <laughs> Ogre Paw, what were you doing up there? Oh my gosh. Alright, back to Oni Mountain then? Maybe we'll see Kieran's true motives? Now I don't even know what to believe anymore. So let's just fly and find out. Alright, we're back at Ogre Pond's den. Next he had a TM for Ice Fang over there in the crevice. And now we get to see what is actually going on with Kieran. Well, here we are. Into the cave you go. Just kick it in there. No, I'm kidding. It's a bit lonely out here, but I guess this place means a lot to Ogre Pond. Take care, okay? We'll come back and see you soon. Maybe even catch you. Pull? Wait, that, does, does it not know that we're leaving? Oh no, it doesn't want to leave. Hey, you know what? I think Ogre Pond might want to go with you, Orange. Yeah? Into a premiere ball, perhaps? Hey, hold up. Uh-oh. If it's not going to stay here, then I want to... I want Ogre Pond to come with me. Oh, is he going to challenge it to a battle? Kiki! I know I'm being real selfish, but Orange, please, let me battle you. I want to see which one of us should get to keep Ogre Pond with them. 
Wait, he wants to battle me? Oh, Kiki. I know you really love Ogre Pod. I really honestly understand. But... But you have to think about Ogre Pond's feelings too. True. But also consider my feelings. I want to battle anyway. <laughs> so let me know once you're ready. Yeah, I'm definitely not ready. In fact, I don't even think I healed my Pokemon. I always forget. I don't feel like going all the way back to Nurse Joy though. So let's just do this. And also we should grab... Diplin back out of the PC, right? Uh, we still have four Pokemon weak to flying type. But at least now we have Velair. So, hopefully we'll be okay. But yeah, my team is healed up. I've got Honeydew leading the party. So it's time to battle Kieran. Once and for all, we're ready to battle. Oh, wait, he leads off with Yen Mega. <sighs> Why do I keep forgetting that? I should have led off with our Golem. Unless he's got a different Pokemon this time, but I doubt it. Whoever wins gets to be Ogre Pond's partner. So don't you dare hold back. Oh, you see the grip he had on that Pokeball? And the music too? Yo, he is going to have a new lead. Shift Tree, okay. That works out for me. Even though I think Shiftree can have flying moves. I know you're probably a better trainer for Ogre Pond, but I... You what? Finish your sentence, boy! Oh, okay, he's starting things off with the fake out there. I don't like that. I really hope we can get off the sticky web at least. Alright, we can take up... Really? We flinch, man. This is like the fifth time we've gotten flinched in this DLC. Is that Kieran's strategy is just flinching? Last time with the air slashes, now he's got dark pulse. Like, come on, bro. At least we can tank up two of these. So as long as we don't get flinched again, we can get out the sticky web. Yes. Nice. Now all of his other Pokemon. Well, actually, he has a bunch of flying types. So not all of his Pokemon will get sticky web up. Yo, why didn't I just go x Scissor? I'm literally not even thinking at this point. But it's fine. We still have Candy with the Pollen Puff. That should also be able to one-shot this Shift Tree. And we did at least get off the Sticky Web. Like, for any non-hovering Pokemon, I guess. Don't get flinched, thankfully. And the Pollen Puff, really? He's gotta have a Focus Sash or something, right? Like, there's no way, man. You really lived with one health. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. He does have that. Kind of annoying. But, eh. Whatever. Can't do nothing to us with our assault vest on. And with the infestation, that's Kieran's first Pokemon down. Imagine his whole team's holding King's Rock. I sure hope not. Also didn't really read what his next Pokemon was, but thankfully it's Poliwrath, which gets caught in that sticky web and noise. But we're still slower, and you have Ice Punch. I probably should have just switched to Poltergeist or something. But, too late. Go, Boba! It's been a minute since I had Boba tea, by the way. I used to love going out to get Boba. But Puerto Rico, they didn't really have many Boba places, and I kind of stopped going. Wait, what is this? Citrus Berry? Okay, yeah, it's just citrus. Would've been pretty clutch if we got the whole... No, 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 no. My dude's got the belly drum going on. But I believe we should still be faster, so... Let's go for another matcha gotcha. Now that I'm back in the States, though, I should definitely go get some boba. Uh, okay, we got Yen Mega now. That's the one we've been waiting for, and finally we have a counter this time. Feather! Get out there! I love Alolan Golem's mustache, dude. It's such a cool Pokemon. I don't think I ever used an Alolan Golem in a playthrough before. Oh my god! Yeah, this thing has got to have compound eyes. Or was it tinted lens? I forgot what you guys said earlier, but... 
Those bug buzzes hurt so much, even though they're not very effective. And I think that's actually what Tinted Lens does, right? It ignores not very effectiveness or something. Thankfully, we survived, though, and we knock it out. As next up, we've got Gliscor. We have no water types. We have no ice moves at all. Gliscor hovers above the sticky web as well. Doesn't matter how strong my opponent is. I gotta face him head on with your wings. Oh, we're so screwed. We are so done for. Of course. Flying types, the bane of my existence. This whole playthrough. Come back to strike once again. I just gotta hope that Fabi's faster here, man. Otherwise, we're dead to an earthquake. And even then, like... This is not gonna be easy. Yep, there it is. We're done for. It's over. <laughs> oh no! We've come so far! And tried so hard! But in the end... We're gonna lose to Gliscor, man. Come on. Oh, we could have done, like, Ice Punch. Wait, does Sarah learn Ice Punch? I don't think so, actually. I'm not gonna give up yet. Alright. We're gonna die to this Earthquake. And then Diplin's probably gonna die to do a Wing Beat. Oh, wait, no, we have Belair, who's obviously gonna die to Earthquake. Man, we can't even go for the Explosion Strat. Because, we're one, we're slower. Two, it's a Ground-type, so we wouldn't even be able to hit it. Our only shot is that we can knock it out somehow with two outrages. Okay, it goes Earthquake, and it does less than half. So it just needs to go Earthquake one more time, please. Just go Earthquake one more time. Yes! Survive it, survive it, survive it! Sarah! Sarah's clutching it out for us, guys. Yes! It's not over yet! Is this his final Pokemon? Yes, it's Diplin! And we're still outraging! And the Sticky Web! Oh my god, if we don't one-shot it, though... Oh, no, 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 no. Sarah, you have to one-shot this thing. Sarah, you have to one-shot this thing, please! Sarah! No! You gotta be kidding me! After all that! Wait, why did he go Energy Ball? It still kills us! <laughs> After all that, bro, there's no way we lost to a freaking little kid. Wow. 20 minutes later. Should I just embrace flying type myself and add Cramorant on the team? I should definitely give it Surf, though, to activate that ability. And do we give it Blizzard or do we just go Ice Beam? I think Ice Beam might be better. But the real question is, do we keep Candy or leave Annie? Because leave Annie could have actually killed that Shift Tree. What level were his Pokemon, by the way? Were they like a lot higher than us or around the same? 76? They were in the mid 70s and we almost beat him? All right, well, in that case, we're gonna get everyone to like 69-ish. This is the dream team, guys. <laughs> level 69 on everyone. Alright, so we basically almost had it last time. Really, against this shift tree, all we gotta switch up. We can just kill it with Excisor if I go for another Hyper Potion. Boom! Of course, he's got the Focus Sash, but... Alolan Golem's whole existence was for this moment. To take down Yanmega! Just like we practiced. Come on, Valir. Oh, we have the Assault Vest now, so that does even less damage. And boom! Absolutely destroys it. All right, this is it. The raid boss. What's that one saying? If you can't beat him, join him? Or no, the your closest enemy is your friend? I, I don't freaking know. Basically, I hate it on Cramorant. This whole... Oh my god! We survive it though! No! He's got the Ice Beam Weakening Berry, bro! He really is Cynthia level! Keep your friends close and enemies closer, that's right. We're obviously gonna die to Earthquake here, but basically I just wanna potion up this Cramorant. We just need to hope that that Rock Tomb hit a high roll and not a low roll. And by that I mean, if you don't know, Pokemon moves, even though they have a set power, they can vary in damage a little bit. So technically that Rock Tomb might have done like the least amount of damage that it could. And that's exactly 
what I'm talking about. Oh no, it's a crit! Are you kidding me? This Gliscor, this son of a... I hate this thing. <laughs> Alright, this is fine. We managed to kill Gliscor last time by just tanking the earthquakes and outraging, so I guess we're going for the same strategy here. Cramorant did at least manage to put a little bit of damage in with the Ice Beam, so... Sarah can finish it with Outrage. Oh, Diplin's coming out already, what? I think Babby can actually do pretty decent against it, even though it's half Dragon type. We have the Drought. Oh, okay! Nice! Oh man, what did we do against this guy last time? I think I just went for Boba. Boba was totally fine just handling it with the Matcha Gacha, so... We should still be okay. Maybe we can even get the high roll ourselves in one shot. Matcha gotcha! Oh, we got the bird on it too, dude! That's so lucky! Okay, either way, Boba can finish it. You're not gonna make it out of this battle, Kieran. And his final Pokemon. Wait, he still had another one? It's not over yet. I'm tired of losing! Dude, I thought... Diplin was his last Pokemon when we fought him before. This dude still had one more. Thankfully, it gets caught in the sticky web. And actually, I'm going to go for the Strength Sap. I don't know if Probopass actually has that high of an attack stat, though. Probably not, huh? Wait, why did I go for that, actually? Probably should have just gone Matcha Gacha. Oh, wait, never mind. My goodness. That healed us up by so much. Alright, now we're gonna go Matcha Gotcha! Maybe we can get another burn on it, that would be clutch. Doesn't do that much damage, actually. And it doesn't heal us by that much, either. This guy's definitely done for, regardless, because we can just send in our Como o as soon as Boba goes down, and there is absolutely no way this Probo Pass outspeeds us. So with the- ba -ba 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 -ba. Kieran is done! We finally get our crit! Guess luck isn't on my side, but it doesn't matter. I got this! Wait, no. What do you mean you got this? What? Wasn't that his last Pokemon? Okay, oh my. For a second, I thought he was gonna pull a Volo on us and whip out a seventh Pokemon somehow, dude. That would have been insane. I would have been down for it, though. Yo, actually, Indigo Disc DLC, we need a new Volo. I knew I couldn't win. What? You were just saying you got this. What? Okay. But I just couldn't give up. Oh my gosh, dude. This kid needs help. I'm sorry. Like seriously, anger management. It's a problem. I think it's time for you to catch Ogre Pond, Orange. Oh. Like, actually? Like, we have to battle it? Or is it just going to go in our ball? Ooh, I think we do get to battle it. We have to prove ourselves to Ogre Pond, which means I'm going to save the game. And also, we should probably bring Gallade back in here. Always recommend Gallade for catching because it's got False Swipe and Hypnosis. But then I don't even know what type Ogre Pond is. I guess we'll find out, though. Seems Ogre Pond wants to test its strength. Let's do it! We'll use an Aper Ball. Oh, dude, the, the green one that you get for completing the decks would totally match Ogre Pond, wouldn't it? I kind of want to use that one, actually. Wait, what? Why did it put on the Fire Mask? Oh, that's so dope! I was wondering if it would actually change when it's not terrestrialized. And it looks like it does. It changes its little, like, leaf coat. That's so cool. I'm assuming that means it becomes fire type, though. Wait, it's terrestrializing too? What? Dude! That's so awesome. It's literally a giant mask. So this is what Ogre Pond's really capable of. I guess I always assumed that the mask was attached to it, but it did the little 360 turn around there, so you know that's not Ogre Pond's actual head, but the mask that's crystallized, kind of like 
the hats every other Pokemon gets. All right, well, I don't know why I'm leading off with Honeydew. Wait, go! Gallade was dead. All right, well, this is a fire type, so regardless, I don't think Lee Vanny was going to do anything. 100% catch rate on this thing. What? Ivy cut? Oh, that's its stick. You can't even see it, though. Woo! Okay. That's a lot of damage. Well, since it's fire type, do we go for Cramorant? Maybe hit it with a couple of Surfs. Surfs up, my dudes! That will actually give us uh, the ability. And is this still fire type? I hope so. Baboom! Hulk! Bro! What? That wasn't very effective and it still just absolutely one-shot us? And I'm pretty sure that's... Oh my god. Alright, I'm terrestrializing, dude. That's it. Enough playing around. We gotta match Terra with Terra. And hopefully not get one shot. <laughs> we cannot get swept by this ogre right now. Not after that loss we took to Kieran. I can't lose again, man. Grassy terrain? What? Does that mean its mask is gonna change? I don't think so. Also, does it does it just stay with one mask? Is it based on what Pokemon we... Alright! I guess the one-shots work both ways. We absolutely destroyed it. I don't think it's over though, is it? Memories of adventuring with you grant Ogre Pond strength! Oh my god. It's terrestrialized again! No way! Dude, this is so cool! Now it's got the water mask! Oh, look, the little tears have the terrestrial crystal symbol. The Wellspring mask grows its special defense. Hey, yo, I don't care. You know what I've got ready for you. Should I do it? No, I don't think we need to. I think, I think Thunder Punch will be enough. I just realized this is going to be a water type move now, isn't it? Oh, I'm so dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I know this might seem counterintuitive, bringing out Fabi into a water type, but we can get the drought to at least power down its fire move, and uh, I guess we revive uh, Lee Vanny? I'm just worried because we still have two more masks to go. I'm pretty sure the grass one is going to be last. And you go for slam. Okay, that's still not bad. Oh, okay. We don't quite one shot, but also with the grassy terrain going on, we get boosted? No. I thought grass types get like increased healing from that. Maybe not. Either way, we survive the slam and we finish it with leaf blade. All right, we got two down, two to go, and next up, it's the silliest of the mask, at least if grass is last, then next should be rock. Yep, there it is. I don't know if it's just me, but this mask totally reminds me of Crash Bandicoot. Yo, that's so cool. It looks like it has dreads with like those strings or Whatever those are, coming from the back of it. Alright, so it, it's rock type. Leave Annie might actually still be good here, but... Then again, so are Ketchum and Sarah. This time, of course, Ivy Cudgel is going to be rock type. So... Alright, let's go Sacred Sword. Oh! If only we had a priority move right now. That did so much. I think I read that it has 30. So we definitely would have one-shot it if it wasn't for that. It goes for grassy terrain either way, so... I guess it's just accepting defeat at this point. And there it goes. Third mask down! And one to go! We didn't get swept! Also, I think I like this jacket the most. It looks like a, like a Letterman high school jacket or something. 
But this is the true mask of Ogre Pond. It's namesake. Or I guess the DLC's namesake. The Teal Mask. Here it is, the final boss, guys. Is this really it? Is this the end? Can we finish Ogre Pond in one fell swoop? Well, probably not here because it's going for another Ivy Kudjo, but uh, I think Fabby the Beast can do it. How come all the other masks have such long names and this, this one's just Teal Mask? Like, feels a bit underwhelming, you know? But as long as we can survive the Kudjo, we should be okay. Please, Fabby, please. Okay. We're good. I don't know if we one-shot, though. I mean, I think we should with the... Really? Wow. You can't catch it yet. You need to show Urgerpon more of what you can do. Wait, so did it purposely get left with that much health? No. Uh... I need Fabby alive, dude. I need Fabby at full health. There's no way I can finish it with Sarah, I don't think. I mean, it does resist the grass move, at least, but I just don't know if we'd be able to finish it. So I'm just going to switch, make sure Fabi is all healed up. It all comes down to this. Fabi the Beast versus the Beast himself of the DLC. Can we take down this Oni? We tank up the Ivy. And with Flamethrower, we finally do it. Wow, this thing was a little bit tougher than I expected. It took a lot of potions, which I don't really want to admit, but we did it. I think that's everything Poker Pond's got. Now your chance to catch it. Oh my god. What kind of ball should we use on it? Oh, yo, Beast Ball? Or the Dream Ball? The Dream Ball looks kind of cool. Let's go! Don't let your dreams be dreams! Just do it! We've done it! We've caught Ogre Pond! And with that, I think we're done with the DLC. Or at least the story. This Pokemon's type changes based on which mask it's wearing. It confounds its enemies with nimble movements and kicks. So it's basically Sanji? Okay. Should we give it a nickname? Oh, it is female. People kept saying that in the chat, that Ogre Pond is always female, and look at that. The real reason we caught it in the Dream Ball is because it's Dream. He took off the mask, except it's actually a she. But this is the only nickname that made sense. And that's Pokemon number 200. Ogre Pond entrusted you with the Cornerstone Mask, Wellspring Mask, and Hearthflame Mask. Does that mean we already have the teal mask? Well done! That was pretty impressive! C congratulations I'll take good care of it. Why don't they say of her, now that we know it's female? Yeah. Why? Why can't I be like you, Orange? One day, buddy. Ah! <laughs> Kieran will be back in the Indigo Disc DLC. Ugh, I hate when he gets like that. Don't worry about him. He's the one who said the winner gets to become Ogre Pond's partner. Come on, let's head home. That was pretty epic. I really liked that final battle. It wasn't quite Volo level, but I didn't expect to have to fight the four forms back to back to back to back. But it's not over yet. Hey Orange, good morning. I've got a message from Carmine. She says she's waiting for you at Loyalty Plaza and that you should hurry up and meet her there. Oh? Is this a final battle with Carmine? Why do you two always use me as your messenger boy, huh? <laughs> I mean, look at you, dude. What else are you gonna do? There's Ogre Pond with the yellow text. Does that confirm it's a legendary? I think so, right? Like, uh, Koraidon and Miraidon, they also have, yeah, yellow. But the Paradox Pokemon don't, and neither do these guys, so I think it's only, like, the cover legendaries that have that. 
Now, of course, I'm going to use Ogre Pawn on the squad for this final battle, but I kind of want to change its mask. Wait, what? You have to make it hold it or what? D did that change it? Oh, there we go. Okay. Dream transformed. So you just have to make it hold it, I guess. And if you take away the item, it automatically does the teal mask. Interesting. This is probably the one I like the most in terms of like design. I like when Ogre Pawn is wearing the little black coat. Maybe I'll stick with that one. I believe also the move, the signature move changes. Oh, it becomes dual type, grass and rock. And it's Terra rock type. I wonder if the move changes though. It says, yeah, it changes depending on the mask worn by the user and it has a heightened chance of landing a critical hit. So even though it still shows it as grass type, I guess it's actually a rock type move. Yeah, I'm gonna keep Ogre Pond as the rock mask. I don't know, I just like how it looks. It's so goofy. Let's do this. There you are. You sure took your time. Yeah, I had to get the squad ready. You really battled great yesterday, Orange. You really think so? Because, uh, kind of got my butt kicked by your brother. Well, once. But you can't beat me twice. Kiki. Well, he shut himself in his room ever since he got home yesterday. Uh, yeah, that's a little worrying. Yeah. Is he not going to come out until the next DLC? You don't need to feel guilty or anything, though. It all started because I said we should keep the whole Ogre Pond thing a secret. Yeah, take accountability. You wouldn't think it, but Kiki's got a bit of an ego, too. He doesn't take losing well. Anyway, how's Ogre Pond doing? I'll be honest, I've grown real fond of Ogre Pond myself. Guess Kiki's rubbed off on me a bit. Do you think you could let me have a battle with Ogre Pond? Yes, ma'am. I wonder if the game would make you have it on your team. I mean, I've got it on here anyway, so... I knew you'd say yes. You're not one to turn down a good battle. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready right now. What you mean? I thought I already said yes. Guess we gotta talk to her again? I see you've got Ogre Pond on your team. Ah, so the game does want you to have Ogre Pond. Okay. I think its battle style changes depending on its mask. So, is it all set and ready to go? Yes! Again! We're ready! Right, let's get to our positions. Okay, at least she didn't say, get into the position, like the first time we battled. Here we go! This might just be the final battle of this DLC. And Carmine's gonna start off with Mighty Enna. Pretty good matchup for Honeydew here. You can set up the sticky web and X scissor it just like Shift Tree. You made me wake up early for this, you know? You better make it worth my time. Oh, it will be. I'm aiming for zero deaths right now, okay? After all our practice against Kieran, and by that I mean the fact that we had to battle him twice, that was a little bit embarrassing, not gonna lie. Uh, I'm a little worried about that crunch. The fact that it kind of took me down to half and the citrus berry didn't kick in makes me think we might just die next turn. Yeesh, you really hit where it hurts, don't ya? I bet you're real popular back home, huh? What are you talking about? Oh my gosh, literally I called it, man. So much for zero deaths. Uh, why didn't the citrus berry kick in, man? That sucks. All right, well, we still have Sarah. I don't really want a close combat, though, because then our defenses will get lowered, but we don't really have any other choice. Well, I guess we did have Clanging Scales or Outrage, but I don't want to do either of those either. So let's just knock it out and see what our next Pokemon could be. Ninetales. Is she copying us, dude? What? Such a weird Pokemon. Look, look, at, look at this thing. Who would ever love a Cramorant? Maybe us. I, I just gotta learn to love it, I suppose. Hopefully her Ninetales doesn't have Drought. Okay, we're good. So we're gonna hit it with uh, Surf. And because of our ability... <laughs> we got a fish in our mouth now. In the gullet! Yo! That almost killed it. And it drops its defense, too? That's awesome, dude. Let's grab another fish. 
Is there still a chance that that can be Pikachu? Like, I know in Sword and Shield, that could happen, but it was like a low chance. I'm guessing that's probably still a thing, but next up we got more Pekko. I guess we'll go into Velair, which someone in the comments actually told me. Apparently, this Alolan Golem was an in-game trade in Sun and Moon. Or Ultra Sun and Moon. One of the two, or maybe both. It's kind of like the tutorial for how trade evolutions work, which I don't remember at all. Oh no, you've got Seed Bomb! But we've got Assault Vest! Wait, that doesn't even lessen the Seed Bomb because it's physical. I guess we're just that tanky. This man's got a Focus Sash. Gotta go for one more Earthquake just to finish off this little hangry hamster. Not the first time we've killed that exact Morpeko with Earthquake, is it? And I think so far... Oh my... She really is copying us! What?! She got a Leave Annie on her team too! Okay, well, let me show you the real power of Ninetales. Let me show you why you give Ninetales the hidden ability. Go, Fabi! Fabi clutched it out against Ogre Pond. Now, she's gonna show Carmine why this is my favorite Pokemon right here. I mean, it's kind of a tie between this and Alolan Ninetales. <laughs> Either way, it's Ninetales, though. But with the power of the sun, and the fact this is four times super effective, yeah, you're you're done for. Quit copying our style. Like what why? Why can't you just have original poke Sidis Cha too? Okay, actually I guess that one technically we copied. Uh and that's a ghost type, so maybe we can finally show off Ogre Pond here. Before the game came out, I predicted Ogre Pond would be grass and dark type. Turns out it was just pure grass, but it does get some dark type moves, so there is a little bit of sinister moves at least. I, I don't know why I said sinister. I guess because Sinister Cha is out here. Wait, should we go for the signature move? Nah. Let's go for the throat chop! I don't even think that teacup has a throat. Time to stir things up a bit. Better be on your guard, or this will will <laughs> this move will getcha. Get it? Cause it's called matcha gotcha. Ah, you're so clever, aren't ya? Dang, that hurt though. As long as we don't get burned though, okay, we're fine. I kind of want to terrestrialize. Yeah, why the heck not, man? I'm pretty sure Ivy Cudgel will finish it off, even if it isn't super effective. Let's go for it. I have no idea what this mask is called. I haven't learned the names yet, but this is probably my favorite of the Ogre Pond masks. Embody Aspect? What? Is that like another ability? Is this thing like uh, Calyrex? Where it kind of has two abilities? Well, I guess technically it has four abilities, but that popped up when we Terrastalize, so I'm thinking it's kind of like Calyrex where it has two abilities. Wow, that was your last Pokemon, man? Really? We almost did it with no deaths. If it wasn't for Lee Vanny, the Citrus Berry not working. How sad. But we did it, though! Ugh, I lost, but I'm also not surprised. You and Ogre Pond really do get along, don't ya? It's almost making me jealous. Good. After all you did to Kirin, I want you to be jealous. I actually... Uh, sheesh, this is awkward to tell you, but I... You... What? Hold up, was she about to confess? Hey there, Orange. This is Briar. It seems all students' pairs have completed their orienteering this morning. The caretaker wanted to have some words, so could you head back to the community center? Ah, guess the DLC's over. Message received loud and clear. Ah, Carmine's with you? Wonderful. That's one less phone call I have to make. You kids never cease to amaze me. It seems you become fast friends the moment you spend even the briefest amount of time together. Well, head on over to the community center. I'll be there with the rest of the students. Come on, finish what you were going to say. She's right about the briefest amount of time. We only just became friends, and now, we... We what? 
Oh well, let's go see what the nosy old guy wants. I don't really want to, but I guess I can play nice one last time. Aw, oh, come on! I gotta know! What was Carmine gonna say? Everyone in chat is saying she loves us? I, I don't know if that would have been it. I mean, I think she was gonna say, like, we've grown to be close friends. You know, Pokemon wouldn't straight up say that she loves us, but I guess maybe, maybe it would be implied that she wants to be more than friends. But here we are. We got the whole gang back at it again. Nelson, Lil' Timmy. Ooh, Lil' Timmy is not ready for another flight back to Paldea. Man's about to get a whole lot more jet lag. Now then, the caretaker has some word for us. Let's all give him our full attention. Ah oh, yes, thank you for coming. I've been told that our student pairs have now finished visiting all the signboards in Kitakami. Which means your self-guided tour is at an end. Hear that? We did it! We found them all! That was so much fun! Why, thank you for saying so, and thanks for taking part. On that note, I've got a little gift for each of you. Ooh. The Kitakami Mochi set. So is that like one of each mochi? Truth be told, I didn't think you'd wrap up the tour this quickly. <laughs> Took us three days, man. It wasn't that quick. You're quite the prodigies. Our visitors from Paldea still have heaps of time left to enjoy Kitakami and all it has to offer. Continue to make yourselves at home and explore as you please. However, I'm sorry for suddenly springing this on you, but Carmine, Kieran, and I will need to return to Blueberry Academy a little early. What? But why? Is there trouble afoot? Again, truly sorry, but there have been some developments concerning the Great Crater. I'm afraid we must really be heading back. I realize I was here as your chaperone, but you kids have all proven to be very capable. I'm sure you'll be fine without me. Thank you so much for looking after them in my stead. So she's just gonna leave us here? In a foreign country by ourselves? Okay. You can leave these kids to me! <laughs> now then, Carmine, I believe you had something you wanted to say? Yes. Unfortunately, my brother's not feeling well, so it's just me here to speak. Oh, we got the emotional music. Hold up. As you all know, this village is where I was born. And I'll be honest, I didn't want any outsiders coming here at all. Yikes! It felt like our home was being turned into a tourist trap for a bunch of ignorant strangers. I feel that, coming from Puerto Rico. But then we spent some time together, and none of you were the way I imagined you'd be at all. You were all really nice once I actually talked to you. I shouldn't have been so quick to judge people I didn't know anything about. So, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I had fun. Thank you all so much for visiting our village. That's probably the nicest thing you'll ever hear from Carmine. Especially you. Oh. Hold up. Is she gonna say it? I'm glad you came to visit. Oh, I'm glad I came too. I mean, it's not like this is goodbye forever. That's true. We'll be seeing her in Blueberry Academy. Yes. The second DLC. We still don't know exactly when it's coming, but winter, hopefully before the end of the year. Oh, I almost forgot. I still need to get packed and everything. Man, I actually feel kind of sad. Like, this is probably the most attached I've gotten to any characters in Pokemon recently. Well, <laughs> except for Arvin, Penny, and not Nimona. This is not goodbye, okay? We're definitely going to see each other again. Absolutely. In fact, it won't even be that long. Because Blueberry Academy... Still sad to say goodbye. That's Carmen for you, I suppose. You never quite know what to expect from her. Each moment spent with you kids is just dazzling. For an adult like me, it's almost blinding. Anyway, that about wraps up this school trip. Let's all give our caretaker a great big thank you. Arigato gozaimasu! And with that, I believe we'll wrap up the main story of the Teal Mask DLC. Do we get a little end card? <gasps> Even better, we get a teaser for the next part. I need to become 
Whoa, yo, what is he doing? I need to become a lot stronger. My guy, you're gonna break something. Stronger, stronger, stronger! He's trying to go Super Saiyan or what? That is a very mischievous smile he's got there. Whoa, hold up. Just you wait, Orange. He tied up the hair too? Ooh, that's got me excited. Kieran will return in the Indigo Disc. Whoa, why did it, uh, the time suddenly change like that? I guess because now that we're done with the main story, time will flow naturally. I love how they ended it with to be continued though, instead of just the end. Because this is part one, and then the indigo disc is part two. I guess I didn't really put it together that way until now. Like literally they're two parts of the same DLC, it's not two DLCs. So naturally, they're two halves of one story. And it almost feels like the story of Kieran, like they really focused on developing his character in a way that I'm honestly pretty impressed with from a writing perspective, like I'm not used to Pokemon having the deepest stories. But as you probably know, this isn't quite the end of the Teal Mask yet. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet to stay tuned for the next episode where we'll be taking on a couple of bonus missions here in Kitakami. And don't forget to check out the first vlog on my new channel, which you'll see a link for right now.